Hi everyone. In these final eight bars of a minuet by J.S. Bach, except for these E naturals and this F sharp, what appears as chromaticism in both the right hand's melody and left hand's bass line are in fact notes diatonic to C melodic minor. The raised and lowered 6th and 7th degrees of C melodic minor are used freely, sometimes appearing as part of diatonic harmony or secondary chords. The entire passage, however, simply prolongs tonic C minor harmony prior to the final cadence. Bach begins with C minor tonic harmony, which is here also the probable pivot chord returning the work to C minor after a brief move to E flat major. C minor harmony then moves to F minor subdominant harmony, which is then modally changed to sound as probable incomplete F dominant 7th harmony in 4 to inversion, but it can also be heard as an incomplete A half diminished 7th chord. Because of the preceding F minor chord, however, here I've chosen to hear this as incomplete F dominant 7th harmony, despite it not including its root note in 5th. Both of these harmonic possibilities, however, although here functioning as secondary harmony, are diatonic to the ascending C melodic minor scale and resolve to first inversion B flat subtonic harmony. The subtonic's root note is then altered to sound as the raised third of root position G dominant harmony, moving to first inversion tonic harmony. Tonic harmony then alternates here with leading note diminished and dominant harmony, forming two connected passing progressions, this one moving between the tonic's first inversion and root position, and this one between its root position. In this two-part texture, the passing progressions are formed using only two strands, one moving 1-7-1, and the other ascending and descending between C minor's initial three scale degrees. Here in the right hand, the third of tonic harmony is raised to become the third of a secondary C dominant seventh chord and four to inversion, which resolves to first inversion F major subdominant harmony. First inversion G dominant harmony then moves to root position tonic harmony, which again then moves as a secondary C dominant seventh chord and four to inversion to major subdominant harmony. In this way, Bach connects two identical harmonizations using first inversion dominant harmony. Major subdominant harmony then moves through an augmented sixth chord to dominant and tonic harmony. The work then concludes with a cadence in C minor. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.